Hello everyone, welcome to another how-to video. This one is a how-to video on how to install the leisure battery on your camper van. This in, one in particular is a Volkswagen T6, so you'll be able to see where we route the cables. This leisure battery is going to be installed under the driver's seat, um, so you'll be able to see where, where we route all of our cables to make it all nice, neat and professional job. We're also going to go through how to join cables together, the fact that we're putting in fuse holders and anchoring the leisure battery down. So stay tuned and see how we do it. Right, so here we are underneath the van. And a lot, the main thing that people have uh, trouble with is where to bring the cable through from inside the van through, to, through the bulkhead to the battery. Now the battery is under this cover here. We have negative and positive. And as you can see, this is where we need to bring the cables through. There's a couple of cables on this van through already. We're going to add one more to go through to the uh, leisure battery through here. So as you can see, we'll just zoom in a bit for you. So there's a rubber rubber part there that comes through through the bulkhead so you can just drill a little hole in there poke the cable through it's a nice watertight seal through and then uh, we'll route the cables inside the van so uh, that's where that's where you need to bring the cables through and then obviously they're brought neatly up around here through and then inside the battery box you can you can run them neatly whichever way around you want in your van so uh, we'll take you inside the van now and we'll show you how to do that. So here we are inside the van. So the rubber piece that we were talking is up under here, under the glove box. And then what we do is we're gonna take this rubber seal out or just pull it pull it out. You don't have to take it all the way off, but you just take this rubber seal off. This, this rubber uh, flooring will come up and we're gonna route the cables along here, along under here, and then this is where our leisure battery is going to end up and it's going to come up through the floor near where this red cable is here. Right, so here we are. I've just pulled that rubber bung just forward from the bulkhead a bit so we can drill through. If you haven't got any cables coming through this, you can take that out and do all the drilling while, you know, while it's out of the van. But obviously, because we've got a couple of cables here, instead of rerouting them, we're just going to get the drill in here. It's a little bit awkward and we're going to drill through and just make a bit of a hole so we can get the cable through. So let's do that now, get a bit of light in here. There we go. So now that's drilled, we just need to feed the cable through there and um, you can either come this way and then up to here or you can feed the cable through there and then poke it through the hole from the bulkhead, whichever you find easiest. So here we are, we've got a cable and I'm going to go through from this side, through the rubber, through there, and then pull as much through as I need to, and leave the rest up near the battery. So, excuse me while I just dive in here. There we go, we're through the rubber now. We're through to the inside of the van now. So what we're going to do is just go around and start pulling that through. Right, so now you can see where we're coming through. We're coming through, obviously, this hole here. Um, so we're just going to pull on this cable to pull it, pull enough through that we need. There's not much resistance at all, so you can just keep pulling. If it was really stiff, then you need to go and look at the other end because you don't want to put any strain on the cable. So just pull through as much as you think you might need. We've got loads of this cable on the rear the other side, so I'm not worried about pulling too much through and not having enough. So that's about it for now. So first thing we need to do is get it up round under this step. So we're going to just hook this step up and we're going to pull this rubber off here, just like that. And we're going to pull this down. It should just sort of bend down a little bit. There we go. We're going to hook our cable around the back of that, nice and neat, that's it, it's right under there, now there are sort of a couple of channels along here, look, can you see that where the old cables are rooted, so that's where we're aiming for. 
We've got loads of cable here, so chuck that over there for now. So these little sort of there's little dips in the floor that allow you to put the, the cables through without creating a lump. So this can all tuck back under the dash. Just like that. There we go. You can clip this on like so. Obviously this end needs clipping on. We'll line them up later. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to lift this um, seat support up seat mount so these are 17 mil bolts which is 17 mil spanner these have been loosened off before to do the diesel heater which is what this pipe is it's the duct for the diesel heater that's underneath the van right so now we're just going to quickly lift this one out of the way for a second because we want our cable neatly underneath this carpet this is for the handbrake so this has to be pulled off and we're just going to tuck this cable the other side of that handbrake make sure we're going along the channels under the van again there's dips in the van all the way up here and there's these cuts in the floor which are here from factory uh, you don't have to cut the floor mat at all and the positive side on this is on the right hand side of the battery so we're going to route the red cable to the right hand side because that's where we're heading all nice and neat under there look so that's as easy as routing the cable once you've clipped the step back so like I said we have got a couple of cables in here already so we're just going to pop this back make sure you don't trap any cables underneath because you're going to need them in a minute There we go, you've routed your cables for your Volkswagen T6. So now we're going to go through wiring up underneath the um, underneath the bonnet and uh, also wiring up for the uh, on your ledger battery. Right, so here we are. We're back at the front of the van now. So I've routed the cables just around the back of there. And this is the one that we looked at earlier. That's the one we've just put through and um, so now what we need to do first of all take this positive off so you just undo that it's 10 mil so just undo that nut at the back there and that will loosen off this and it will come off the battery it's better because we need to put a ring terminal onto here but it's better that the battery isn't connected so you're not sparking on anything so first of all 10 mil spanner or 10 mil socket on this one and then we can uh, we can take all of this off the battery so you've got no power to it and then uh, we, we can safely connect our little uh, cable which we put on um, or fed through a minute ago right so here we go so I've loosened off this nut at the back to open the uh, ring terminal a bit and we should be able to pull this off the battery now yep we can so what we're going to do we're going to add a ring terminal onto this um, this part here so I'll give you the idea so first of all we need to put an inline fuse um, to protect the cable um, so this is what we're going to do so we're going to cut this we're going to put a ring terminal in here and that's going to connect onto the battery and then we're going to join these two cables together so and then we've got this uh, cable that we've put in nice and protected for any overload or anything like that you're not going to melt the cable so I'm going to show you how we're going to do all that now
So first of all, we're gonna give ourselves a bit of room, but we're gonna leave a bit more this side because we wanna just tuck this fuse holder just nice and neat. So I'm gonna cut it here. It doesn't have to be in the middle. So I'm just gonna cut it here. So we're gonna get a pair of snips. Here we go. So I'm just gonna cut it in there. And then you can use um, Stanley blades or anything, but these are nice and easy to do. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit more than that. These little wire strippers you can find anywhere, eBay, anywhere like that. So just gonna twist these in like this. We'll see if it will fit in folded over. I like to make it a good firm fit. So yeah, it should fit in there nicely. So we've got a good size ring. So we know our ring is going to go over there. So now we need to crimp this one down. There we go. Let me stick them in there. Get the cable in nicely. Let's crimp it down really nice and firm. So it's got a good strong Good strong connection there. So that's that, so it's not gonna pull off anytime soon. So then what we do, we're gonna strip this little piece of wire here as well. So there's one there. Now we're gonna, just gonna trim this one back a little bit. Get rid of that and snip that off. See now what we're gonna do with this one is crimp this piece on here. This is a it's a joint, cable joint sort of thing. So what this does is crimp in the middle and then you heat up the outsides and it creates a nice waterproof seal. So that's that side on. I'm just gonna slide this one in here. That's it. Right, give them a little tug, make sure they're nice and firm. And then what we're gonna do, this this is sort of like a heat shrink um, that will give us a nice tight seal. So we just warm that up. we go that's the giving us a nice join there so that's they're nicely both cables are nicely crimped on and then also this rubber is nicely sort of shrunk around that cable to give us a nice watertight seal so that's that end so now we've got 10 mil again so we're going to take this one off this one off now to put our ring terminal on This nut is actually um, built into this cable. Like if you've got if you've got another van that you don't need to um, take this part off, you know sometimes they've got a spare you know a, a spare pole on it, then that's absolutely fine. I know the Fiat Ducatos and Citroen relays and things have those because uh, this has sort of one here. We're just going to use this one. So there we go. I'm gonna slide our ring terminal over there and then pop this back on and then this is connected up so there we go what I recommend as well is put, we want to put some heat shrink on here really but we haven't got any of the right size today but obviously we I'm coming back in here later to connect up other cables just for today this is just for today's video so you want to do a nice neat waterproof join there 
and then if you get some heat shrink over this yellow part onto the cable warm it up like we did with the um, you can either use a lighter or you can use um, a heat gun like we did and it'll just give you a waterproof seal in here it was just best practice really um, so there we go so now um, we're just going to tighten this 10 mil one back up on the back and then you're done under this end what we've done as well is left the fuse out for now because you don't want any power running through here yet so at the moment there's only power from here to the holder and then once we've finished connecting it all up then we put the fuse in and then it'll connect the power around right so here we are back in, in the front of the van um, under the driver's seat this is where our leisure battery is going to be so our leisure battery is going to be positioned here but you don't want it rattling around under there so you can buy these battery retainers battery supports um, this has got a little hook under here and the battery sort of is shaped like that underneath so the battery tucks under there and then this has a small clamp this side that then holds the battery in place so that's what we're going to do now and then we're going to connect it all up so basically where the um, the seat base is where it's a uh, bolted down you stick these over the threaded bars that come through the van and we put a nut on top of here on this side is where we're going to earth the battery because you have a positive and negative so the positive will be out this side and the negative will just earth to the van so let's pop that on here now so we'll run the cables neatly around the side okay so that's in place so we're going to stick one one nut on there for now and then what we're going to do this is our negative um, here so we're going to stick that on there put the other nut on And that's that so I'm going to tighten these up now you can use a spanner or a socket it's up to you So now we're going to put our battery in here this one we're going to slide all the way to one side because i still need to get the um, ducting for the heater but around the side of that so i'm going to slide that to one side and then this is um, the clamp that goes on the back so this is a 13 mil uh, clamp excuse me it's cold today so i've got, this, got the sniffs okay so that's that bit so on your um on your van basically the reason why we're connecting it to the battery in the front is that you um you need a way of charging your leisure battery from the van now you can obviously um, this is actually charged via our um, sergeant system when you're plugged in at the campsite but we wanted just a small charge while you're running around town or traveling to your campsite and stuff coming from the battery so this is just a small trickle charger um, that works while the van is running so it works like a split charge relay but this has got a smart alternator on this van so this just this is a trickle charger one just gives it a couple of amps of charge while you're driving keep everything topped up nicely so on here we've just got um, a positive in and basically positive out so starter battery uh, the cable we've got from the starter so this is going to be in here and then we're going to go out and then just to the main part of the battery and obviously when the van's running um, it'll be coming into here giving a two amp charge just to the battery to keep it topped up so that's how we're going to wire it up so this one we're going to pop into here Let's make sure we've got none touching so start a battery in where it says start and trim that down actually it's a bit there we go so 
this one we're going to have start in here so let's lock that one down nice and tight excellent okay so now out of that because from under the front of the van we obviously put in a fuse holder to here we still want this part to be fused to the battery because if there's any anything wrong between the battery and here we still want a fused a fused line really so um, this time I am going to cut it in the middle so well, approximately in the middle that's fine and we're going to strip back exactly as before Twist these up a little bit. Take a little bit more off there. So there we go. So we're going to put one end of this fuse, um, this fuse holder in here. And tighten that up okay so that's that and then the other one we're just going to fold this pit this part over make it a bit chunkier the other one we're going to put a ring terminal on here best so we're going to pop this one on here again best if you've got some um, uh, heat shrink on here but I'll take this off and do it another time but it's just to show you how, what you're doing so that's on there nice and firm so now we've got our sort of voltage uh, sort of basically I'm gonna call it a split charge relay but it's for a smart alternator just to keep things simple for today so this is the um, battery terminal that we've got here so we're just going to put these two together pop him through there and get a nut on the top so i'm going to angle mine that way Okay, so we're going to pop this on here, put them out of the way there, and then I'm going to connect up the negative now. So that's connected up there. Let's uh, tighten these ones up. Okay, that's tight. So this one, um, you can sort of put some double-sided tape on or screw it to the van or anything Anything that you you want to do with that is fine. Um, but I'll just pop it there for now. And then what we need to do, basically has everything connected up, then we need to connect the fuses. So at the moment, um, obviously the one from the front of the van isn't uh, connected yet because we haven't put the fuse in. But now we can actually put the fuse in here a little two amp fuse in there so this this small part here is now protected by that two amp fuse and now we'll go around the front pop the two amp fuse in the other end and uh, then it's all connected up right so here we are just put the fuse in the fuse holder here and now I'm just going to just try and neaten this up a little bit tuck all that in make it all nice there we go we can tuck him down there that now this can all go in here Let's flip this down at the back there we go and there you go fitted a nice nice neat finish got all of your ledger battery in there so 
sorted. I'll just take you around the front and show you the difference between um, a normal split charge relay and one that's on this van because um, this is a uh, 2016 2017 uh, VWT6 this has got the smart alternators in and uh, I'll just show you um, briefly what the difference is between the little box that we did put on and a standard uh, split charge relay that you might put on a slightly older vehicle Hi, we're back around the um, inside the van now. I just wanted to um, show the difference uh, between what we've installed today. This one is for a smart alternator. Like I say, it's just a trickle charger. Um, it's not very expensive, this one. You can spend anything from 30 pounds up to 250 or 300 quid um, for a way to charge your leisure battery from your um, like the starter battery they call it from the main van battery um, this will also isolate um, so when the vehicle is not running um, it won't um, it won't discharge um, the starter battery when you're discharging your leisure battery now if you're on a slightly older vehicle you have something like this which is a split charge relay uh, this one works um, on an ignition um, feed so as soon as you turn your ignition on it will it will link the starter battery to the leisure battery um, and this will, but this will charge, you know, a considerably faster rate than this particular system. Um, you can get ones that are voltage sensing as well. So as soon as you start the van, the alternator boosts the voltage, and then it will click in uh, automatically and start charging your leisure battery for you. And then as soon as you turn your engine off and the voltage drops, it will cut back out again. Um, that's basically what all these boxes do. Um, this one, smart alternators um, can charge at a much higher voltage for a shorter period of time. So this just sort of limits that voltage really um, and allows your battery, char uh, battery in the rear to be uh, trickle charged. Um, I just wanted to show you sort of the difference between the two really. Um, but now we have this, um, this battery installed in this T6 uh, being trickle charged once the vehicle's running and that's simple as that really on how to install your leisure battery. I hope that you've, um, I hope it's been in depth enough um, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. And if you've got any uh, comments, um, obviously please leave them uh, on below in the video and we'll try and answer any questions or uh, if you've got any more video ideas or things that you wanna learn uh, to do with your, uh, your camper van or anything like that, then uh, do put it in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll try and do a video on anything to try and help you out. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks.